What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Brian with Venice Mode Detail. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also make sure that you like this video down below. So without further ado, let's jump right into it, man. Let's go. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about car detailing services, kind of how to schedule them throughout the day, throughout the weeks, throughout the month, so that way you can become a better and more efficient mobile car detailer. So let's say you have clients, let's say you have leads, and now you're running into an issue where you don't know how to schedule your cars, and that's what this video is here to help you guys out. So we're gonna go ahead and hopefully help you guys out with some you know, valuable information. Bring out the notepad, bring out the pen. It's time to write down some notes. Let's get into it. So the first key point that I wanted to discuss was me personally, right? It depends on you, but me personally, my advice is we don't take on any same day appointments, right? So one of the biggest reasons why I don't personally take on same day appointments is simply because it might throw off the productivity for us for the day. You know, so for example, we're doing three cars today and somebody calls in and they're like, hey, I really need the detail. Can you come out to me today? Even if I do have an open slot for that day, I don't want to go ahead and book that customer in simply because we already mentally are set on these three cars. So if I tell my detailer, if I tell myself, right, hey, we're going to do another one, it's already going to mentally kind of, you know, mess with us a little bit. I'm like, dang, OK, so we got to rush these details and get to that car right that's a big reason why i don't like to take on cars is because it can affect the productivity you know whether it be good or bad it's all dependent on you and your business but i don't like to personally take on the same day appointments another thing that i also ran into when you know i was saying yes to all these same day appointments because i kind of had to right and i'm teaching you guys from experience right customers were simply calling in and requesting their service same day right now if you are someone that you know wants to run a business like that then by any means take on those same day appointments right but me i like to be structured i like to have a set schedule i like to have something to look forward to through the day so if i'm home all day right and it's 12 o'clock and i get a call like, hey can you come to this detail i'm not going to be super quick to jump onto it like yes the money might be good i might need it but it's better that I have some type of respect for myself and my business as opposed to just jumping the gun, getting the van ready, like rushing to go get this you know, job done. Instead, I like to approach my details a little bit more calm. I like to be more you know, prepared and kind of just have a set schedule already throughout the day. So that way I'm not having to, you know, worry about where my next car is coming from. You know, I wanna make sure that I have three cars of the day. I have those three cars and that's all I'm doing, right? I don't wanna say, oh, if there's any more cars coming up, then I'll go ahead and do them. Like, no, I'm set on that, you know, those three cars of the day. And if a client wants me to go ahead and do their car, you know, emergency then if it's something that i'm willing to do i might even go ahead and charge extra now i don't personally want customers to call and always think that we're going to be like a, a super speedy service where they're going to call hey man is i need a detail and we show up like no that's not how i want to go ahead and do things we're going to go ahead and schedule it out deposit email confirmation text confirmation we're going to do everything the right way that way you have a good experience if we do it the rush way which is the way that some customers are going to force you to do things then you're going to see that most of the times they're not going to be happy and you're not going to be happy because you're kind of just doing everything kind of you know against the grain so that's something to take in mind you know you don't want customers to just always call and be like yeah i want a detail and you showing up like you're some fast food you know delivery service and i promise you once you say yes to one there will be more people that are going to start to call and you're just going to get so used to just saying yes because you need the money you need the cars right now if you keep saying yes keep saying yes people are just going to see you for that right but if you have some type of respect for yourself for your business and you say no these are my time slots these are the only days that i'm working this is when i'm available then now i can say okay this is an actual legit business this person is not you know quote unquote desperate for my cash or for you know the money that i'm trying to get you know this person to detail my car and business structure is super important meaning that you have a set schedule you have certain amount you know of time slots that you fill you know in for the day that is very important to your business you need to have that structure if you kind of go off the structure if you go off the plan off the you know appointment slots for the day you're going to see that you're running into problems that you wouldn't have been running into if you had just stuck with what your original plan was and that was to do by appointments only and to go ahead and move forward with a professional business structure that's not like just taking on any cars as i'd rather get three calls on the phone today 
and then book them for later on then book all three cars and rush out the house and try to go do them it just doesn't make sense why put myself in that position why put myself through so much headache so much stress like why not just okay call me okay let's do it next week let's do it tomorrow let's do it whenever you have available it doesn't have to be this very second and if they want it that very second you're going to see that they're probably not going to call back they're probably going to go somewhere else or they're just they're just going to figure it out right because they want somebody to do it today and if you have a shop that puts you in a position right to do you know the job same day and that's something also that i wanted to mention but if you do have a shop it's totally different so this is for mobile detailers people that are at you know clients locations when they go to perform a service not you stand still wait for me to come for people and clients to come to you because that's a complete different scenario all right so the first tip that i wanted to talk to you guys about was to go ahead and time your details right i know it seems super simple super you know what i'm saying like you know uh, meticulous but you need to time your services and if you're not timing it with a stopwatch at least know what time you started and what time you finished right so let's say you get to the client's house at nine you set up you do all this stuff look at the time before you start doing the first thing that you're going to do look at your time and if it says 9 15 go off of that just remember that okay 9 15 and then when you're done look again on your time and just see what time you were done and then do the math on that and see how long it took you now if you don't know how long you're taking on detailing services, it's gonna affect you because you're not gonna know how to schedule your service, right? So in my example, I like to schedule nine, 12, and maybe even two or three at the latest, just depending on the service, right? And depending on the season of the year, but nine, 12, and three are usually our three time slots, right? And I have this on the website. So if you wanna go ahead and book a 9 a.m. and you book for a one hour service, it's gonna only block out that one hour. So now the next opening will be 10. Now this is all automated, so I don't wanna get you guys confused, but all I'm simply saying is if you have a, you know, silver package at nine and you don't finish that silver package till about 1 p.m then that's also something that you have to take it for account because now you don't have that 12 o'clock slot you have that 1 p.m slot and now you have to go ahead and you know move some stuff around instead of making the other one at three you have to push it back or even have to reschedule it all together so you need to make sure that you're also you know knowing how long you're taking on services and i'm talking about for every service. So the services that I, I recommend that you start with are packages because it makes things a lot easier. But if you wanna do single services, that also works as well. So some of the services that we do are the bronze detail package, which is a standard inside and out, you know, wash and wax, interior cleaning. I mean, not interior cleaning, interior uh, detail. And then we have the shampoo, which is tier two, the middle tier. It's gonna be silver package, right? This silver package is gonna include a basic detail a full interior cleaning and a wash and wax, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and do the works, which is our last one, which is our gold, right? These are the three main packages that we offer, that we offer, bronze, silver, and gold, good, better, and best. And it goes from standard to shampoo to shampoo and polish. Pretty basic, right? Now to the average person, they might not understand that, but if you're a detailer, you know what I mean, right? Because a standard detail is vacuum detail, windows, doors, like everything is included with every detail. It just gets you know a little bit more advanced i would say or you increase the service every tier um on the scale now the single service would be you know the premium wash the wash and wax and maybe even a full interior cleaning and a basic mini interior cleaning these are some of the services about six to seven services that you can start to offer but like i said i like to do packages because it makes it a lot easier and you could charge a little bit more and give the clients a better you know bundle and a better deal by just booking your package. Now, another tip that I wanted to give you guys if you are struggling with scheduling your car details and you're not making it in time or you're running into problems, it's gonna be to simply plan ahead, right? Get your generator filled with gas if you have one, fill your uh, water tank up, empty out the vacuum, clean out the van, get towels ready, get your spray chemicals, get, get everything that you need ready so that when you get to your client's house you're immediately tackling the vehicle because i see a lot of times some detailers you know we we show up to the house and they start to you know get on their phone and we're literally on a job like you know we got to the client's house and detailers are on the phone or laughing on tiktok and i'm over here looking like bro we literally like are about to start working 
the time is not now to go ahead and start wasting time because the time is ticking. If you're a detailer, you know how fast time goes. You could be vacuuming for one hour and you look up and you're like, holy crap, it's 10 in the morning. I still got so much more work to do. So it's kind of just important to plan ahead so that way you're, you know, being efficient and you're not out there wasting time, you know, lally gagging and, 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 you know, messing around at your client's house. If you do it before, it's also good to do it after, right? If you fill your chemicals up before the detail, it's also good to do it after if you do even have another client coming up next. So I like to kind of stay on top of things. If I if I run out of chemicals, I try to immediately fill it. If, not, if I don't do it at that moment, I might do it towards the end of the detail when I'm gonna have a little bit of, uh, you know, spare time. So if you don't do it now, you're gonna have to do it eventually. So I'd rather just take the five minutes that I have at the client's house now, so that way I can save that five minutes when I get to there and just start working on the car. It's all mental, it's all perspective, so a lot of people are gonna think differently. They're gonna be like, oh, I could, I could do it in one minute. I, I don't need to do it. It's like, no, like you gotta take account for every minute, every second, every hour when you're out there detailing because time is literally money. You are your own business. Nobody else is depending on you. Like, you depend on you. So if you aren't on point, nobody else is gonna be. If you're forgetting to fill chemicals, nobody's gonna fill it up for you. If you're, you know, arriving late, there's no excuse. Your clients are gonna be upset. You know, like you need, you need to take things serious as a business. You need to take your reputation, your reviews, how people see you and your business a lot more serious because if you do that, you're also gonna elevate yourself, elevate your business, and people are gonna approach you and talk to you a lot more differently as opposed to someone who's just out there, you know, doing this for fun and doing it as a hobby. So I wanted to end the video with the third tip and that was gonna be to have your detailed procedures down to the T. Now this is gonna be included in the next video, so there's gonna be a little bit of a sneak peek into the next video for you guys, but you need to have your detailed procedures to the T because if you don't, then you're not gonna go ahead and be efficient when you're out there on the field. Now, an example of what I mean is, do you have a procedure where you always follow the same process, right? Are you always vacuuming first? Are you always washing first? Do you sometimes switch it up? Do you, like, why not have a solid procedure, right? Just the, the standard, the basic, and then build off of that. Take out some stuff that you might think that are not necessarily needed to go ahead and complete the detail. So that way your procedure time is a little bit shorter than what you had originally planned. Like I said, this is only a sneak peek. So I'm gonna go ahead to more detail in the next video, but I really do hope that this video brought you guys some information, some valuable, helpful information that you can apply today. And if it did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel down below because more bangers are coming your way. So. Peace out, hustle never settle, let's go.